Moderna has become the second U.S. drug maker to announce promising results with a possible COVID-19 vaccine. Clinical trials found its vaccine 94.5% effective. It comes on the heels of similar preliminary results from Pfizer and BioNTech, adding to a growing optimism that life may one day go back to normal. At, at, at the surface, it looks very promising, but I think we should approach this with cautious optimism. Both companies use a highly experimental approach to design their RNA vaccines, injecting part of the coronavirus's genetic code to provoke the immune system to attack. But these vaccines have stringent temperature requirements. Moderna's vaccine is a bit easier to store. It can last up to six months if stored in minus 20 degrees and one month in a standard fridge. And Pfizer's vaccine needs ultra-cold storage of around minus 80 degrees. And a little feeling of pressure. The Moderna study evaluated 95 confirmed COVID-19 infections among the trial's 30,000 participants. The company says 90 people who got the dummy shot tested positive for COVID-19 versus five people who got the real two-dose vaccine. But the big question on how long the vaccine lasts remains unanswered. This is the final stage of the clinical trial and volunteers will need to be followed for much longer to really know its lasting and long-term effects. Moderna plans to apply for emergency approval in the U.S. in the next few weeks and Health Canada will make its own independent decision. I think it's pretty fair to say that it's likely we'll have vaccine rollout in the early part of 2021 in, in parts of Canada and the United States. Canada has a firm commitment on 20 million doses from Moderna. That's enough to vaccinate 10 million people. The federal government has an option of 36 million more doses, enough to vaccinate another 18 million. Manuela Campanella, Global News.